Hey there guys, kind of a weird, awkward intro sort of thing at the beginning. My recording software, my video recording software, actually cut out the first three seconds of video for this session of Dark Souls 2. I don't know why it happened, it just did. Um, but I'm pretty much putting this in a placeholder for that, so here's your intro. Uh, enjoy the videos, and yeah, there you go. We head back into the main quest there, which I will... I do. I always have to do this. I have to check to see how many people have died since last time. I believe last time it was close to 80 million. So I do not know how far that number has changed by now. Oh, 88 million. So, yeah, that's that's not bad. That's not bad. I don't know if Games for Windows Live is gone yet. So I'm not sure if that includes PC users because I'm pretty sure the PC users just got Dark Souls 2, like, either, I think at the beginning, it was either sometime last week or it was at the beginning of this week, and right now it's April 20, well, it's not April 29th, it's May 1st uh, at the time of this recording, so, there's this dude. Uh, oh, uh, hello there. Yep. W welcome to my uh, shop. I'm Morlin, and uh, well, I sell armor. That's my... great. Oh, sorry, I... Yeah, I don't remember talking to this guy, so that's why I'm talking to him right now. I could really use the business. Mostly because he changes after you buy a bunch of stuff from him, so... Yeah, right now, he doesn't really have anything fantastic. Um... Yeah, none of this is really that great. Um, I'll probably buy some of his stuff anyway, just to buy it. Like this Falconeers thing. I'll probably buy some of this stuff anyway, just to just to have it. Uh, does it really matter? Not really, but... Like I said, this is for effect later. And we'll probably check once we come back to the... Uh, come back to Majula at the end of this recording, as we usually do. Thanks so. very much. And do please come again. Yeah, I think once you spend a certain amount of souls, he he actually ends up changing location like several times. Like I could I could check that right now um, to do that real fast because I just spent about four point something thousand souls, about four point five. I don't know it, like what the what the limit is that you have to buy for him to change his location inside that building. But, we'll see. I mean, right now he seems like a pretty pretty nice guy. And, uh, oh look, look, he, uh, he changed spots. He used to be sitting on the ground here, and now, now he's right here. Oh, I was hoping that you would come. Sounds a bit more confident new there. Things, and I thought that you might be interested. A little bit more confident. They've been selling rather well, and I may step up operations That's cool. soon. Well, what do you got now? I'm, 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 I'm surprising even myself, to be honest. That's great. <laughs> This guy's sort of important, like, he sells some pretty cool shit, uh, eventually. I don't know if that has changed all yet. Can I? Know? Oh, okay. Yeah, see, look, he, he sells more stuff than the, the Falconer's gear now, in addition to what I already got. He, he sells elite uh, knight stuff, royal soldier stuff, um, still the infantry thing. Yeah, but, I mean, like, every time he changes location, basically, he sells... He sells you more business? stuff, so eventually we'll be back to buy more things from him, just to just to see what what else that uh, he pretty much is going to do for us. But anyway, let's see. I need to check something. My mace is plus five. Um, I need large titanite shards. Like I think I need more. I think I need more large titanite shards. You've been long away. Well. Right. Um, oh crap, I did not mean to do that. I, I don't care. Let's see. Hmm. Now there's a place that I can get large titanite shards from, but I need to go a little bit of a ways into a certain area before that. So I think before we head back to the doors of Pharaohs, we're going to take a slight detour and we're going to go back to the Iron Keep. We're going to go back to the Iron Keep because the Iron Keep... Um, has some stuff that I need uh, for that. If you remember that other blacksmith that we found back in 
Oh my gosh. It's the area I, I always forget. It's the area I always forget. But you know what I'm talking about. We're gonna go... We, the blacksmith there needed something. And we're going to get it. We're going to get it right now and possibly get through at least a little more of this area. Like I said, it's kind of going to be a back and forth type of thing. I don't know if I'll try and get through all of this area. I mean, I guess I could. I guess I could. We'll see. We will see. But yeah. I mean, these guys also drop some pretty cool stuff. If I'm lucky enough to get any, if they drop any, well, we'll see. But uh, more than likely, the answer is no. Either way, we're going to get more done today. And that's pretty much what matters at this point. Um, I guess I'll just lure this guy over here. There we go. Come on over, buddy. Isn't it kind of weird that knights are wielding katanas, though? They're like ninja knights. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird, but kind of cool. Not really steampunky, but it's it's interesting nonetheless. We have this guy up here. Not bad. Not bad because my mace. My mace is doing some work. It's doing some work. And now the Pharaoh's Lockstone, which is really cool. But before that, we need to go over here because there is someone else. There is this person. What? Who are you? I'm me. I'm Magarold. Magarold? That's great. What? Have a look at my wares. Sure. Uh, but this guy is actually pretty important because this is where, if you use the incense option right here, you can use um, your... Uh, what, what was it called? Uh, let me back out and go into my inventory well. real quick. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I keep forgetting what all this stuff is called. There we go. Skeptic Spice and Simpleton Spice. You can use those here to lower uh, requirements for stuff. Well, for spells and whatnot, so it's pretty pretty interesting stuff. He does have some cool things to buy. Um, this jester stuff, and then all of that. Not really that important. Uh, the curse bite ring, but this is the cool stuff that he's got. He's got the wood carvings. If you remember from Dark Souls One, uh, basically you put it on your your hot bar or whatever, or you access it from your inventory and you throw it out. And when it hits the ground. It makes, it speaks for you. Like this one says hello, this one says thank you, this is an I'm sorry one, and this one's very good. So, yeah. Yeah, quite. Quite. I think I'm going to get the very good one, though. I eventually want to come back and get all of them at some point or another, but. Um, and then he sells a bunch of spells and. Sorceries and hexes, which I don't really care about, but either way, there's that. That's that guy. Yeah, cheers. Great. Um, I guess I can add that to my hot bar now. Yeah, I certainly can. So where is it? It is right here. Excellent. So if I wanted to be sort of a jackass or just a funny guy, god damn it, I keep going past it. There we go. And just do this all day. It's pretty funny. At least to me, I think it's I think it's pretty great. It's pretty funny stuff. Pretty funny stuff. Uh, illusion ahead. Okay. Indeed. Indeed, there is illusion ahead. It's pretty pretty interesting. That guy died there for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know, but we've got 20 fire arrows. Fire arrows are always a good thing. There's an illusion here, and then we can just do this, and then fire at that guy and knock him off his butt. So, yeah, there's there's that. And for some reason, he doesn't even care. Like, his friend came over and was like, what the fuck? This guy doesn't give a shit. He does not care. Not one bit. He did drop something, though. Hopefully a katana. The katana he's wearing. Up, oh, iron great arrow. Well, I guess I should have expected that. He was an archer after all. 
was an archer after all, and I'd almost want to venture to get this, but I'm pretty sure if I stay in that fire for too long, I will... I will die. I will certainly die. What are you doing? The fuck? Oh. It's because of that guy. Ow! Holy shit. That means business. Alright, can that ship pass through walls? Yeah. Yeah, it can. That's stupid. Great. Uh, my arrows do so, like, crappy damage. They probably do better if I actually upgraded the the bow, but, I mean, this bow... This bow is shit. This bow is terrible. So I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. You know, slowly. Painfully. But... You know, we're, we're getting there. We have so many arrows to work with, so we might as well. Especially if this guy's range is as big as I think. He can probably reach pretty far across the level, and I would I would rather not I would rather not get wrecked while traversing this area. So I'm pretty sure there are areas where you can just knock us off. I mean I know there are areas that you can knock us off, but it's better to be safe than sorry, you know? God damn it, I forget that. You know, isn't it great that that the uh, the gr the super great arrows can just pass through the wall? Oh, I can just do this. Well, that makes things a bit easier. Oh. Yeah, it's funny how the great arrows can just magically pass through the wall at some point. Yet my arrows get stuck, like, way, like, in between a freaking door and what, what have you. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm arguing anymore, but whatever. Get wrecked. Alright. That guy can totally attack me. How about no? Oh, great, and there's a guy right here. Can I still see me? I uh, know, yep, sure can. Alright, I want to pull this real quick. And then there's the arrow, and there we go. There's. There is that. What is down there? Looks like there's something down there, so I'm gonna. gonna check it out. There's an item. Uh, soul of a Proud Knight, and I almost got knocked off because of that dude. So that's great. Or someone. Someone nearly knocked me off, but. Oh. Huh. I guess I could have just. What the fuck? What was that? I don't even know. This thing looks a bit more powerful than the other ones. Yeah, he had like a super blue fire katana, and his helmet looked different, so yeah, he's definitely more powerful. I didn't mimic check that, that was a bad idea. We got a life ring plus one and a twinkling titanite, which is pretty good. Liar ahead. I'm not sure what it means by liar ahead, but either way. Either way we did a little bit of good. Oh, and I guess that that lever there kind of tilted this bridge down a little bit. Oh god, what am I even doing? There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna lure you off over here because I'd rather not, you know, fight on something that I could get potentially knocked off on. You can't knock me back after all. And that would be that would be very bad. That'd be quite, quite bad. Um oh shit. Okay. Alright. Well. I'm just gonna hold the phone here. Great! Awesome. Seeing how there are all these summon signs out here, we can assume that that's a boss. And I'm not going to... I'm not going to go after him just yet. Or maybe... Maybe I should. I don't know. What's this? Oh, it's Lucatiel. Great. That is great. I... Hmm. 
gonna go across here for a second. I need to, I need to check something out because this is this is what I actually came all the way over here for. So that's what I'm going to do. We'll just get this life gem real quick. Back to the Estus. We got a Zweihander. That is not what I came here for. I actually came across for here. Hopefully, I have enough uh, running room here. There we go. Is there an enemy over here? I just want to make sure that I don't get wrecked. Or get wrecked too hard. But this is what I want. We got the Dull Ember. So now we can go back to that blacksmith dude. At some point, we can go back to that blacksmith dude, anyway. And the ways. And we have a Pharaoh's uh, Lockstone here. Yeah, let's use that. If I remember correctly, this Pharaoh's Lockstone is like the one that we found in Earth and Peak, where it just it heals status and slowly heals you and stuff, so... That's actually pretty good. I mean, can't really ask for more than that. That's pretty fantastic. But, alright. So, we have a boss. 